This is a brief video that will show you how to use my localhost workbook. The purpose of this workbook is to allow you to connect from Excel directly to an instance of Power BI Desktop, which is running on your personal computer. You can see that I have a single instance running at the moment with this AdventureWorks data model. And I'm going to now connect to that using my localhost workbook. Here I am in a blank Excel workbook. I'm going to create a brand new workbook. Let's go File, New. I'm going to my personal templates and here is my localhost workbook template. You can download that and follow the instructions on how to use it like this. So when I click OK, it creates a brand new workbook and it opens it up and you can see that I have uh, a number of tabs here so let me explain each of these tabs. So first of all we have a pivot table and on the right hand side you can see that there are no fields in the field list and that's because I need to connect this this workbook through to my local instance of Power BI Desktop. So I'm going to click refresh connection and we'll wait for a moment and then you'll see that now I can uh, access the entire data model that is running on my local host workbook. So I can go ahead and build out a pivot table if I want now. I can just bring in anything here just as I would with any other workbook. So that pivot table works and that's as a standalone feature you can use that if you like. Also I've incorporated the memory usage so this is the work originally done by Casper de Jong and also by Scott Sinkareski and I've extended that and made that available within my local host workbook as well. So good for analyzing the size of your data model. And here are some new things that I've added. So I now have a measures tab. And the first time you use this measures tab, you need to come in and click refresh measures. And when you do that, the measures list will get updated. And so this is now a list of all of the measures that are part of your current workbook. Um, there's a couple of interesting things here. I've integrated this with the Power Pivot Utilities and let me just turn on Power Pivot Utilities. Here it is here. And so I can select my measures from here, go to Power Pivot Utilities and I can format those measures using the Format button from um, Power Pivot Utilities. So now I have a list of all my measures nicely formatted, which table they're in and what they're called. And there's two columns over here that will become very useful. So one column tells you how many times has this measure been referenced. And so let's take the total margin, for example. It says that it's been referenced two times. And if I click this button here, Show Referenced, it goes away and shows me that here are the uh, measures that are referencing total margin. So there's the margin percent and also this chart item uh, measure. And also I have another um, column here showing me the count of inputs. This is showing me how many measures are required in order to produce this main measure. And so if I go show inputs there, you'll see that it says four. Now in this case it's four because um, there is total sales, total margin, total cost, and in fact the um, margin percent is, is referring to total margin and total sales. So total margin is two inputs, one, two. Total sales is one input, that's three. And total cost is an input, that's four. Um, also, I have a measure dependencies. This is completely linked to the previous tab. So if I was to um, show all measures now, here are all the measure dependencies. And if I was to apply um, a measure say on total customers um, in fact I don't have any there if I was put one on total invoices and say show referenced then this one automatically gets updated showing you the the depth of those references and lastly on the connection page um, this is used as a technical page in order to connect to the data model if you do have a problem using this workbook you can click open folder and it will show you the exact location of the temporary instance of Power BI um, desktop which runs SQL Server Analysis Services in the background and if you have more than one of these running at a time you won't be able to use this workbook. You can read the full article about this workbook and also download a copy of the template at xbi.com.au slash lhwb.